Now let's talk about why men don't want to join the military. Let's talk about why men who speak English, Western men, do not want to join the military. You sacrifice your body. You sacrifice your time, your discipline, your privacy for the disgusting golem known as the West. What do you get from from that? Lots of dudes join the military, get a recruitment bonus, marry a chick, and then get cheated on. They get STDs, they get herpes, they get cucked. Let's read this story. I am an active duty military psychologist. Do you know what the biggest problem I hear from nearly every day from our troops? Okay, so active duty, this guy is working in the military. He's a psychologist. He's dealing with soldiers' psychological problems. What's the biggest problem he hears every day from his troops? Let's find out. This is relevant for all of you to hear. If you go for 9 to 12 months on a deployment, the wife is going to cheat unless you've been married for more than 4 years and have a young child to keep her occupied. Oh, wow, I'm so surprised. Women cheat. I'm sure dudes have been in the military for 10 years and got a valuable woman, they don't know how to deal with that, but if you join the military... I'm going to join the military to fight in Israel. I'm going to defend Zionism. I'm going to defend Ukraine. I'm going to defend the West. And I got a nice little wife at home who's going to be loyal to me. Yeah, that's not going to happen. She's going to be riding on dudes like Undead Chronic. She's going to be riding on Tyrone and Chad. And you're going to be over there getting shelled and shot at for what? Why? Why are you getting shot at in Israel? Why are you getting shot at in Ukraine? Why are you getting shot at in Taiwan? No, excuse me, why? My country. Well, my country allows your wife to cheat on you, cuck you, have children by other men, and then when you come back home and discover it and you divorce her, you got to pay alimony, you got to pay child support. That's why there's no reason, you know, people are like, why don't men join the military? Why aren't men working? Why aren't men fighting, you know, to, to change this country, to, to fight for Western values? Western values, Tim Pool, has resulted in women absolutely destroying men, cucking men. Men have nothing to fight for. Well, are you going to fight for the banks? Are you going to fight so some stock Holders, make some money. You're going to fight for some D-suite, C-suite employees to make a lot of money. Are you going to fight for your CEO to, to, to get another yacht so you can ride it to an island to abuse children from your neighborhood? What, 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 why would you fight? What, seriously, what's the reason? Last hundred years, what reason, what authentic reason would you fight for? Chronic. We gotta ship you to France. We gotta we got to, to fight World War One. Why? Because German imperialism. What's that gotta do with me? Huh? Chronic. We gotta ship you to Vietnam. Why? Because my Russia. What's that gotta do with me? It got nothing to do with me. I'm gonna go to Woodstock. I'm gonna find some bushy. Hippie chicks that are on the pill that came out last year, and I'm going to smash, but I'm not going to sacrifice my life for bankers or politicians. I'm not going to do that. I have zero interest. Raid me, feds. Come on, feds. Come to my house. Knock on my door. Kill my dog. Break my arm. I'm not going to fight minorities overseas for bankers. I'm not going to do it. I refuse. I refuse. He says, If I had a day shaved off of my service obligation for every service member who was in my office suffering from a mental disorder like depression or anxiety resulting either directly or indirectly from a cheating spouse, I would have retired before I even joined. Yeah, American women aren't loyal. Western women aren't loyal. Feminist women aren't loyal. They're entitled. 
They marry as non-virgins. They have social media. They're, they're solipistic. They're narcissistic. They live in their own worlds. They are God. Of course, they're going to cheat on you. Seriously, you taxpayers don't even realize how much money you're paying to treat disorders which were initially triggered from the stress of infidelity. Yo, I am more than aware that my tax dollars go to bullshit. I, 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 you know, I'm more than aware of that. But yeah, I wonder how many millions of dollars, billions of dollars every year are spent because women can't keep their legs closed. It's probably trillions now I'm really thinking about it. I'm not saying they were prone to disorders to begin with. Many probably were just slipped through recruiting, but the vast majority were doing fine in their careers until the cheating occurred. Then the medical record virtually vomits mental health encounters. Yeah, it's... Women will never understand how painful it is to get cheated on as a man. Because a man cheats on a chick, it's like, oh, well, that chick had big tatas. That chick was a sloot. My man was 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 drunk. A chick cheats on a dude. Hey, everything you did to provide a home for me, it's not enough. Who you are as a person, your potential to give me children, your potential to raise a family, your ability to protect me and our future children is is not as good as Chad and Tyrone. I will always hold the fact that women cheating on men is is a hundred thousand times worse than men cheating on women. They're both bad, but the resulting pain is much worse for men. Much worse. The thing is, we're not Vietnam. Afghanistan has few hookers. The Taliban ensured that, so these poor soldiers, marines, sailors, end up being without sex for a whole year, come home to find out their wife was a sloot the whole time. The whole time they were getting shot at, mortars lobbed at them, and IEDs. It makes me sick. Yeah, the West makes me sick. Now look, this thread isn't about the morality of war. There are plenty of threads about that already. What shocks me, however, is how frivolous marriage vows are. Well, Western women are frivolous. They're fickle. They can divorce, no fault. They can cheat, and nothing happens to them. Why would I sacrifice my life based on the feelings of a woman? Emotions. I'm not interested in that. I'm not interested in that. If your spouse is in harm's way day in, day out, can you close your effing legs for him at least? No, they can't. They don't care. They don't care. Western women only care about themselves. Only care about themselves. Their political opinions. Their career options. Everything they do. No matter what. Leftist, commie, trad girl, Republican. I only see them care about themselves. I've never seen them care about the country or men. Only see them care about themselves. This is the red pill. Never get married. Never. This guy went made towel. You are foolish if you marry a woman and think she'll be faithful. Unless you're high school sweethearts and you're now in your 30s and been continuously faithful, it won't work. Well, even then, there's men that get perud. If you want to support the show, consider donating to Cash App slash Cash Sign Chronic. What's that? That's Cash Sign slash Cash Sign Chronic.